Hi guys, don't mind the way I look right now. I look really like, you know, tired. <laughs> um, I wasn't even gonna post this today, but here's the thing. So not yesterday, but a few nights ago, okay. The Lord mentioned to me Proverbs, and this was when I was in my sleep. And I said, God, Proverbs what? And then he said, Proverbs 6. And I already knew what Proverbs 6 was because I've, you know, elaborated on this plenty of times. But the Lord brought it back to me a few days ago. And one thing that really stood out to me in Proverbs 6 was how, you know, you know, I'm going to read it to you, actually. So this is Proverbs 6, verse 9. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. It was so crazy because God literally brought Proverbs 6 to me shortly after I made that video for you guys that longer video which i'm going to post in the comment section and pin it and i talked about how they will literally do things in their witchcraft to try to slow us down like the thing about it is many of us were naturally very ambitious we're naturally very enthusiastic we're always like energetic god's children are always on the go we're always busy 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 right but what these people try to do is they really try to get you to a place of feeling really drained, feeling really tired. They will attack you to where the headaches are unbearable, the stomach nausea is unbearable, your body's aching. And, you know, it, it's, it's almost like you start to just want to lay there like a slug. It's like you want to just lay there and not move. And when I read Proverbs 6, I... I had never really noticed to that part before. I always noticed the other verse, but I never really noticed that part before. And I noticed that, like I said, God gave me this right after I made that video. But I want to also mention something to you guys. When God gave me Proverbs 6, he also showed me a vision of salt. Okay, and a lot of Christians are, up, are against like taking baths and all that, but he showed me the salt and he confirmed it to me again salt has natural nutrients that helps with the headache and it also helps with sleep it has like a natural magnesium in it that helps with sleep right so the salt bath baths really help get rid of the headaches and it really helps relax the body because the body gets really tense when you're fighting witchcraft. It really starts to hurt. You start to feel sore. You get up and it's like you're, you're moaning, you're groaning, your whole body is tense, your whole body is sore. But the magnesium from the salt actually calms the nerves and it actually reduces the headaches. So when he showed me that, I was like, okay, I'm like, thank you for confirming this again for like the 10th time because I already knew he's confirmed it so many times, right? But today is when I decided to talk about this scripture because he also mentioned something else which is in the scripture. And I'm going to read it to you right now. Hold on. So this is Proverbs 6, verse 16. And I'm going to go on from there. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that dev that devices wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness that pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. So I want to just say that these people that are doing this to many of God's children, that are trying to purposely drain our energy, purposely trying to make us sleepy, purposely trying to slow us down. They are doing this because this is this is our season. This is the season where God wants us to start being busy. And they know that if you are sleeping, if you are like a slug, if you are not up and moving around doing what you're supposed to do, you will miss the harvest. You get what I'm saying? How is your seed going to grow if you're not continuously watering it every day? How could you water your seed every day if you are sick every day, if you are tired every day, if you are drained every day, if you have a headache every day, if you have nausea every day? And that's the point. That is the point. Right? So today, this evening actually, 
I got the word and I said to God, I'm going to continue to fight the good fight. And I want y'all to continue to fight the good fight, right? You know, God says that the people that do these things, these evil things, they will not get away with it. They will not get away with it, right? And I want you to understand that you have a lot to look forward to. Many of us do, but I'm speaking to someone. You have a lot to look forward to. You cannot let these people win. Okay, you have to get up and you have to do what you have to do. Faith without works is dead, okay? And my people will perish for a lack of knowledge. There's a lot of things that you can do on top of praying and fasting that can help you. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that you can do that can help you. I even, I'm going to share some some things that I that I do, like, you know, certain things. That I, I, I got some vitamins and stuff. I'm going to share that in a whole other video. But a lot of you guys need to start checking your health. Check the, what you're eating. Cut down on certain foods that you're eating. Because that's going to make whatever they're doing to you have more of an effect. So if they're doing things to kind of keep make you tired, to hurt your head, your stomach, and then you're eating unhealthy, that's going to make it worse. Do you get what I'm saying? That's going to make it 10 times worse. You're going to have to make sure you have your vitamin B, your vitamin D, your iron, your magnesium, your magnesium. You're going to have to make sure that you're taking care of your overall health as well on top of fighting these things. Okay, prayer and fasting 100% works, right? But you also have to do other things to take care of your actual physical body as well because what happens is... If they drain you to a certain level and you already don't have any vitamins and you're deficient in these areas, whatever they're doing is going to work 10 times more because you're already deficient in certain areas, right? When it comes to your vitamins, right? So I want you guys to really pay attention to the things that you're eating, the things that you are doing, okay? And I want you to also make a decision. Are you willing to continue to fight the good fight? Are you going to let these people who don't even care about their own lives, who don't even care about their own purpose, who choose to do evil, are you going to let them try to control and try to put a block, try to use you to self-sabotage and block your purpose, your calling? No. So you have to get up and get it together. Get up and get it together. And here's the thing. I was telling God this today. I was saying, God... These, what these people don't understand is if they would have succeeded with blocking many of, of, of us and let's just say that we were not here, right? They would still be miserable. They will still be lacking in their life the areas that they come after us about. You see what I'm saying? They would still be lacking. So hurting us is not doing anything but fulfilling their little ego for the time being but it does not change their circumstance do you see that it does not change their circumstance so how can we let people who are not willing to change their circumstances by doing good by repenting how can we let people like this try to slow us down we shouldn't and like i tell you guys all the time you have to understand that you going through this it means your calling is big it means that there's something that you have to look forward to right it means that the circumstances that you're going through right now are not permanent and there's something greater for you their circumstances don't change unless they repent but yours will but you got to keep fighting yours will you just got to keep fighting Okay, make sure you guys are taking care of your health and you're checking your body. Okay, these people have very serious consequences because God is not too happy about this. These people are quick to rush and do evil. They're quick to make up lies. They're quick to make, make plots and schemes. They don't get sleep until they do evil. Right? So what you have to do is you have to be 10 steps ahead. You got to make sure that you are praying fasting your faith is your faith is in check your faith is in order you got to make sure you're, you're you're getting your vitamins and everything taken care of okay do not lay there and let these people demolish your plans your goals and the purpose that god has for you by choosing not to continue 
to fight the good fight. So fight the good fight. I don't know about y'all, but I made a decision and I've been made this decision and I told God that I'm going to fight for every single thing that he has for me, whether people like it or not, whether people, people hate me or not. It doesn't stop God's plan for my life, whether people hate me or not. It doesn't. Even no matter what their opinions are, it does not stop God's plans for my life. Because what God says stands, right? And only God's opinion matters. And that's what I mean. You have to continue to fight no matter what is going, what is coming your way. No matter what you're feeling. You got to continue to fight because at the end of the day, what people are doing to you, what people are saying to you, it only, it only stops what God is trying to do if you allow it. If you don't allow it and you're willing to fight against it, it will not stop God's plans for your life. Okay, and but you have to make that decision and say, I'm willing to fight. I'm going to fight. I claim and I receive every single blessing that you have promised me, God. I receive it. I receive every single plan that you have for my life, God. I receive it. You have to make that decision. Okay, and if you make that decision, then you just got to go full force and full speed and not look at what people are saying in the midst of that. Just keep going and going and going and going and going. No matter what God tells you, just keep going. Just keep going. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.